Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. This is Sujit here from Benzene. And in this video, we're going to talk about a very simple topic as to how to create a Scrum project in Azure DevOps. So let's get started. So creating a project in Azure DevOps is pretty straightforward and simple. Uh, it's just that you need to have the admin access to create a project. So all you have to do before you create a project is go to the organization which you belong to. When you click on it, you will be directed to a page as shown on the screen right now. And once you click on new project button, which is on the top right corner, a model like this will open. And the first step is to enter your project name. And once you entered your project name, the next step is to add a small description about the project itself. Next step is to uh, select the permissions as to who can view your project. There are two options. One is the public, the other one is the private. The moment you click on public, that means anyone in the internet can view and have access to the project. While private, uh, you can restrict the access to selected number of people and you can give them access. Once you click on advanced, the next step is to select a version control which you are using. All the version control which you are using and tied up to Azure DevOps will be shown here. And the next step is to select the framework and the process which you want to use. This video is about creating a Scrum project. So I'm going to go ahead and select Scrum. And once you click on create button after filling all the details and selecting the permissions, you will be directed to the project yourself. This page is the summary page, and this is the page you will be directed to once you hit on the create button. This gives a lot of information about the project itself. You can start inviting people to your project with the help of invite button on the top right corner and adding the users here one by one. Once you've added all the members in your project, you can see them in the members section in the summary page. What you see on the left side is the navigation panel. All your uh, boards, your backlog, your sprint boards are all in the section called as boards on the left navigation panel. The moment you hover on that board section, you will find all the options you have for you to navigate between those pages. Now, once your project is created, let's say you want to change the process of the project. While we were creating, I've selected Scrum as the template, but let's say you have an organizational standard and everyone in the organization follow the same standard and same processes for the project. So in that case, you can also go and change your process associated with your project. All you have to do is go to your organization and click on organization settings here on the left bottom corner. Once you've reached to this screen, you have to click on processes on the left navigation panel and click on the selected uh, process for your project. In this example, I had selected Scrum, so I'm going to click on Scrum. Once you're here, go to the projects. You will see all the list of projects associated with that process. So when you click on the three dot button, or next to your project name, you will get an option to change process. Here, for this example, I had created a custom process already in my organization. So I'm going to go ahead and select that from the drop down here. So once you click on save, this project which we just created is now associated with a custom process which had the custom iteration and custom hierarchy of the ticket type. I had created earlier. So that's how we create a project in Azure DevOps. It's a very simple technique. All you have to do is give a project name, description, select the permissions, and then select the process which you want the project to be associated with. And when you click on save, your project is created. So that's it in this video. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I hope it helped. Please do hit on the like button below and subscribe to our channel for more such practitioners-led video. Thank you.